please welcome Brian Kelly and Tyler Hubbard of Florida Georgia Line. This is my gorgeous wife, Brittany. And this is my wife, Haley. Our wives loved the show so much last year, they insisted that we come back this year. So we said, okay, you're gonna do it with us, and uh, here we are. This time of year is when we are especially thankful for those serving all around the world in our military. But what do they do with their pets while stationed in Iraq, Afghanistan, or all over the world? That was a dilemma that was faced with husband, wife, Sean, and Elisa Johnson, who served in the U.S. Navy Marine Corps, respectively. They were lucky enough to have family to help, but wanted to help others who found themselves in a similar situation, so they created Dogs on Deployment. Y'all take a look. Family reunions are part of military life. And that includes the pets of our service men and women. When help is needed, Dogs on Deployment steps up. Dogs on Deployment is an online foster network where military members can network with volunteers willing to watch their pets while they're deployed. Hey, Hi. hey Jackie, what? Hi. I think it's absolutely amazing that somebody would volunteer to take care of someone else's pet for months at a time so that we're able to go out and do our jobs on deployment without having to worry about what's happening to our four-legged family members at home. Yeah, this is a wonderful program. If you want to help our active duty personnel by taking care of their loved ones and their pets, very rewarding. We get to see all those military homecomings, and it's pretty special when there's an excited pup waiting for you at home. Founded in 2011, Dogs on Deployment has helped over 800 military personnel with their pets, and more volunteers are needed. Dogs on Deployment is an organization that brings together two of America's greatest loves, our love for our military and our love for our pets. It's an easy way for anybody to get involved and support their troops. Hey, baby. Oh, I missed you. Baby girl, I know. <laughs> You don't have to be in the military to be a foster with dogs on deployment. So if you want to help our military, go to the show's website for details. We present this award for Foster Rescue Organization of the Year to Sean and Elisa Johnson and Dogs on Deployment. Yeah. Congrats, y'all. recognizing Dogs on Deployment for our assistance to the men and women serving our country. When my husband Sean and I founded the organization, we had no idea what an impact our idea would have. In the Marine Corps, we have a saying. It's called Semper Fidelis, which means always faithful. Dogs on Deployment allows anyone to show their appreciation to a service member. Every time I see the joy of a reunion with one of our military and the dog they had to leave behind while serving their country, I know that we're making a difference in that life of the military member and their dog. So please remember, stay faithful to yourself, to each other, and of course to your pets. And this Thanksgiving, please keep our deployed troops in your hearts and in your thoughts. Thank you. Next, the final pedigree cutest puppy contestant and our world record finale when the all-star dog rescue celebration returns. 